Hey you guys, this vlog episode is brought to you by Audioblocks.com. So one of the toughest things about making these YouTube videos is finding good music, and not only finding good music that we like, but good music that's also royalty free. That's the hardest part. So Audioblocks.com has hundreds of thousands of songs, loops, and sound effects for you guys to use all royalty free. And it's pretty easy to use. You just log on, you can search for the type of music you want, or you can just select a certain genre, certain tempo, certain moods, or certain in instruments that are in the songs that you're looking for, and then you just select the music you want, you click download, and you have that song downloaded for you to use either personally or commercially. Because they're sponsoring this vlog episode, they are offering a seven day free trial. You can go to audioblocks.com slash YouTube, or just click the link at the top of the description here. Thank you, audioblocks.com, for sponsoring this vlog episode. Now, let's get back to it. Jose is still a hurricane and it is affecting the East Coast. There's a look at Bradley Beach in New Jersey, and you can see some large waves there. We're not only looking at some large swells, but rip current risk along the East Coast, and eventually those winds are going to pick up, and we're going to have some rain. Maximum sustained winds remain near 75 miles per hour with higher gusts. Little change in strength is expected today, but Jose should begin to gradually weaken on Wednesday. Good morning, you guys. We have Hurricane Jose coming through tomorrow. We still don't know, I don't think it's gonna be directed to us, but the wind forecast is calling for like 20 to 40 knot winds. So nothing too crazy, but we definitely wanna prepare for it. So Neverland's back in the water. Sierra and I are going to go look at some uh, possible anchorages that, that we're gonna put Neverland in. Jetty's coming with us, of course. Just look at our options, then we're gonna get Neverland ready, move her later, and then do a bunch of stuff to get ready for for this strong wind. So this is one of the websites I use to check the wind forecast. It's windfinder.com. And it's looking like, uh, that's today. I use it a lot for kiteboarding and, and surfing, and but it seems to be pretty accurate. So this is what they're calling for tomorrow. And this is all the wind speed are knots. So it's 20, 26 to 43 knots as of right now. And I'll back off. And it's also that it gives you the wind direction here is from the northeast and it's going to shift out of the north there for Wednesday morning. So, taking that into consideration, here we are. It's shown we're here. We're actually in the middle of the river right here right now and we know that wind's going to be coming out of the northeast and the north so we just want to be protected at least on that side but uh as protected all around as we can so we like the idea of this spot right here i know that there, there's deep water in through this little cut right here and we could go all the way back and that way we can use the land around here to tie up some lines to like stuff on land like trees rather than just relying on the anchor holding but we're not going to be as protected with the northeast and the north wind in there. It might funnel down a little bit. And over on this side, this is all wetland, so it's not very tall trees or anything. So we're going to be pretty exposed to the wind still. I don't know. We'll go check it out. If you go in here, in here, I know it's deep enough, like right over here. But same problem there. This is all wetlands, and we're way more exposed to the wind over there. Or we're thinking about going, tucking back up in here. So we might just anchor up right here on the lee of this shore like right there throw out a bunch of anchors all the chain but then we just don't have anything on land to tie to which is okay in i think we'll be all right in 30 to 40 knots or we could try to tuck back in here but i know the closer we get to the middle of the river and then to this side over here like all in here i'm pretty sure it's pretty shallow so that's something else we're going to go check on the little boat how deep all these areas are So this is that first spot we were looking at on the map, and I mean, it's a nice sheltered little cove. But uh, like this is where the wind's gonna be coming from, all up here, all the way through there, and it's just uh, real low, just low marsh. Which I think it'll work, but I think we might just go up the river. It looks really shallow. This is where we gotta worry about like the entrance into here. So 
it seems like the entrance to this little canal is maybe a little bit shallow. We didn't feel all around, but we're gonna go check out the other spot first. And then if we decide that this is our best spot, we'll just come back and really feel around and see if we can get in and find a deep entrance. So we're going up the river now. This part of the river actually is like a little more brackish, almost fresh water. You can see the tannins in the in the water making the color difference. It's kind of crazy. We're only like maybe a half a mile from like the mouth of the river, close to where Neverland is anchored right now. you guys so we looked at a few different options and we keep looking at the forecast for this storm and it seems like the wind is going to be more out of the north which puts us in the protection of this land right across from where our boat is anchored now it's forecast to be a little lighter than we thought originally as well so it's looking like 20 to 30 maybe 40 knots I'll be real surprised if we see that so what we're gonna do is just move the boat out just a little more to the middle of the river here so that we're a little closer to the uh, leeward side of land and throw out our two big anchors and pretty much all our chain and roads so we have really shallow scopes on the anchor lines and uh yeah we'll be on it all day tomorrow which is like supposed to be the peak of the storm so i think we'll be fine i can't believe it's not like not even that windy yet i was expecting it to be super windy already this evening sierra's gonna take the bimini off up here she's gonna take all the boards and everything that's up here and put them down in the cabin while I just move the boat over a bit. <laughs> you okay? What just happened? Oh, I think I broke my nose. Are you alright? It really hurt. Now I'm letting out pretty much all the chain. We have like 150 feet of chain. I'll leave a little bit left, but I want a lot of road out on this. So this line is what we call a snubber. This is normal like dock line, so it'll flex a little bit pretty thick. So we'll put this hook on the chain and we'll cleat off the snubber line on the post here. And then we'll let out a little bit more chain. So what this does is when we get a gust of wind and the boat comes back and it tightens up the, the anchor chain, this gives it just a little bit more flex than if it were to like snag hard on the chain keeps the anchor from breaking loose easily and keeps it a little more comfortable like on all the cleats and hardware up here and everything. We have too much stuff. <laughs> Paddles, dive flags, we have stuff everywhere. All right, we got pretty much all the Jose prep done. We got the boards and like all our stuff that was up top is down here in the V-berth cushions and stuff like that. Bimini's off, tucked away. Everything's off the top deck. Two anchors out, all the chain, all the line. Hopefully we don't move. Alright, we'll let you guys know how we how we do tomorrow.